Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Growth Philosophy Podcast, a bite-sized weekly podcast focused on helping you improve your mindset and upgrade your life. And I'm your host, Sadiq. Over the last few episodes of the Growth Philosophy Podcast, I've touched on on quite a few things related to the way we think. I've talked about mindset, which is a term for the way we think. I have gone over the concepts of growth mindset and its counterpart, fixed mindset. In fact, last week's episode was mainly focused on fixed mindset, in case you want to check that out. As well as clarifying the concepts about mindset, I've also covered the key differences between the two main mindsets as well as some essential points about growth mindset and fixed mindset. Now, if you're not familiar with these concepts, or if you're a bit vague about them, I suggest checking out the last few episodes of this podcast. Having clarity on these fundamental principles will be hugely beneficial to improving the way you think, not to mention the positive impact it can have on your life. Now, that said, If you have listened to last week's podcast episode on fixed mindset, which I hope you have, you now know what fixed mindset is and what it is not, and also why it is not good for you. The goal of the last episode was to give you clarity on fixed mindset and help you clearly see the contrast between the general thinking pattern, aka fixed mindset, and how it is different from a growth-focused thinking pattern aka growth mindset. Now, understanding and getting clarity on fixed mindset gives you perspective on what not to do. This is important. But along with that, it also helps you become aware of what you might be doing when it comes to the way you think that is not good for you. Now, so why is it important for you to understand what not to do? Let me stress on this because this is extremely important. I just cannot stress this enough. Because if you do not know what you might be doing wrong, how can you ever improve them? Make sense? One of the key aspects of personal growth revolves around having awareness of what you might not be doing that is good for you. So if there is something that you are doing that is not good for you and you do not have awareness of it, you cannot improve it. This is unfortunately one of the main reasons why having a fixed mindset is so common, by the way. Because if you have a fixed mindset, you won't really consider looking into areas or things that you're doing that are not good for you. And this is also one of the reasons why having a growth mindset is so important. So, here is the really challenging scenario that we are in. Fixed mindset, unfortunately, is the default mindset people have. Most people have, anyway. It is incredibly unfortunate. But this is just how most adults think. So, here is the really key point I want you to understand. Fixed mindset might be the default way of thinking for most, but no one is actually born with a fixed mindset. We are all, in fact, born with a growth mindset. Don't believe me? Then here is a glaring example for you. You will never see a baby give up on trying to walk just because it fails several times, if not lots of times. Even if the baby falls lots of times, trying to walk, It will not give up. You don't even need to look at other babies. You can just look at your own case. If you did that, if you had given up, trying to walk after you fell down a few times, you would never have learned to walk. Make sense? So the fact that you can walk today is a testament to the growth mindset that drove you when you were walking, or when you learned to walk. That focus on growth rather than what is possible and what is not, is what enabled you as a child to overcome the challenges of walking and learn how to walk. 
The same principle holds true for nearly everything children learn how to do. And it holds true for nearly everything you learned how to do as a child. Children hardly ever, if ever, call it quits. Yet, that is exactly what most people do as adults. If something does not work out after a few tries or even one try, most people throw in the towel. This behavior is new. It is not our innate behavior or thinking style. This is not what we are born with. This is not the thinking style that we had during our initial days on Earth. This behavior is learned behavior. This is a mindset people learn during their formative years while they are growing up. Fixed mindset is a mindset developed based mainly on what people learn from those around them while they are growing up. The parameters and metrics like possible and impossible are not known to children. Children don't understand what is possible and what is not. Those metrics and parameters are just not are just not even within their boundaries of understanding. We learn about these things while we are growing up. The fixed mindset is actually not our natural mindset. It is not how we think when we are born. It is not how we think when we learn how to develop our essential motors and life skills as children. And it most certainly is not the mindset that we have that enabled us to learn to survive and grow up. Our natural mindset is a mindset focused on learning and progress. Our natural mindset is a mindset focused on growth. So just in case it is not abundantly clear by now, growth mindset is a natural state. That is our original mindset. We just forget about it along the way. It is very normal though to pick up a limiting mindset. Things happen, you know, often things that are not very pleasant, things that make us reevaluate our possibilities and what we can or cannot do. We learn about subjective boundaries of what is possible and what is not, be it from teachers, parents, those around us, the media, and so on. We learn about what our limits are supposed to be. We learn about what we are and are not supposed to be capable of. We learn about what is and is not realistic, and so on. We learn about all these things while we are growing up. We do not know about them when we are children. From the time we start making sense of things and start thinking, we pick up a lot of things about our world and our reality, many if not most of which limit our beliefs of what is possible. But as you learned in the last episodes, the limits of our own possibility are often subjective, as impossible is nearly always a matter of perspective. Impossible is nearly always a matter of perspective. Because if you believe something to be impossible, it will always be impossible. But when you believe that something is possible, or even that it can be possible, then you open up a whole world of possibilities. This is exactly how Neil Armstrong and his fellow astronauts achieved the impossible and stepped foot on the moon. This is how Roger Bannister ran the humanely impossible four minute mile. And this is exactly how this same lack of belief in what is possible is also what helped Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay to reach the peak of Everest. It's all in our minds, good or bad, possible or impossible, probable or improbable. The way we think is ultimately what defines each of those labels for us. So if you take away just one thing from today's episode, I want you to understand this. Learning about growth mindset is not really about installing a new mindset or a new way of thinking. Rather, it's about going back to our roots. It's about going back to our natural state of growth and progress. That's a natural state. That's the mindset that we were born with. And we all have it within us. It's simply a matter of getting back in touch with that state of mind. 
It's simply a matter of reminding ourselves what we have forgotten. By the way, if improving the way you think is something you want to learn more about, check out my latest book, How to Think Better in 7 Days. It's now available on Amazon and all other major book retailers. But that's it for today. I hope you found this episode useful. Share your thoughts and comments with me on my blog, as well as any suggestions you might have about any future episodes. And keep working on your mindset, because that is one crucial factor that affects every area of your life. A better mindset always equals a better life. So, think better. I'll see you again next time. Have a great week.